Welcome to First Man Satellite. Uh, look at this decoder. This is a Tiger T50 Tiki Taka decoder. You see, uh, just now uh, I received this decoder. This decoder program is that uh, when uh, power is put in, the decoder refuses to boot. At times it boots, but even when it boots, it boots partially. It boots partially. I'm putting power in for you to see what is wrong with this decoder. Look at it. Good afternoon, madam. You see, uh, power is put in, but uh, still displaying nothing on the boot panel, as you can see. At times, too, uh, it boots, but it boots partially. It stays on boot, and even when it boots completely, and you put in the LMB cable to receive pictures, it freezes. So I'm coming to open this decoder for you so that we all troubleshoot to know what is wrong with this uh, decoder. Welcome to First Man Satellite once again. Thank you. So now I've opened the decoder. Uh, let's troubleshoot to know what is wrong with this Tiger T50 Tiki Taka decoder. Look, like this, let's check this uh, voltage regulator IC first. This one. This is the inside of the decoder, as you can see. So let's check this voltage regulator IC. Let's check. You see here, it's giving me 1.8. This is correct. This is correct. Let's check here. Here is giving me 0, 0 0.56, and this is correct. Let's check the other other uh, pin here. Here is giving me 3.3 volts, which is 3.28, and it's correct. So, like this, what you have to do next is to check the cores. The cores here. This is the cores. You see, you have three cores in this decoder. That's Core 1, core 2, core 3. So let's check from this core and see whether it is giving correct voltage here. You see, it's giving me 12.17 volts, which means 12 volts is present in this decoder. Okay. Let's check this second core here and see. You see, this one, let's see. You see, it is giving me 5 volts. That's 5.06. It's correct. Okay. Let's check. Let's check this last core here. This one. You see, it is giving me 0, 0 0.17 volts, which is wrong. It should have given me 1.1 volts, but it is uh, giving me uh, 0, 0 0.17 volts. So this is the reason why this decoder is not uh, booting completely, and when even it boosts, uh, it, it doesn't give you uh, the pictures, because it freezes. It freezes. This is the problem. So what we have to do is to uh, change this IC because this IC, IC is the one uh, giving this call the 1.1 volts. Let's check the, this uh, piece of the, uh, the of this IC to see whether it is giving the correct voltages. Let's see. Let's check this pin here. You see, this pin here is giving me 0, 0, 0.10. See, let's check this pin here. You can see this pin is giving me 5 volts and it's correct. You see, let's check this. He, he, let's check the pin here. You see, here too is giving me five volts, and it's correct. And let's check this last one here. This one here. You see, this one is refu refusing to give me the one point one volt, but giving me rather uh, zero zero point nineteen, which is wrong. It should have been one point one volts. So this is the reason why this decoder is refusing to boot properly or to work well so for now i'm coming to change this ic this five pins ic and see whether it will now boot well and work well 
Welcome to First Man Satellite. Please subscribe and share my channel for more information. Thank you. So now you can see, I have this IC. You see, I have some here. Look at it. You see, yeah. This is it. I have, I have the IC here uh, to replace. To replace the one that is not functioning well. You see, yeah. This is the IC. So I'm coming to remove this one. I'm coming to remove this IC. And then replace it with this uh, IC and see how it. So with my brewer ready, uh, I will begin to remove this uh, IC. Welcome to First Man Satellite. Please subscribe and share my channel. Welcome to First Man Satellite. Once again, you see, for now, uh, I have changed the IC. So now I'm putting power in so that we check the voltages again. Let's see whether for now it will boot properly or not. You see, now look at it, I've put power in. Look at it. You see, if you can see the indicator, you see, Yeah, you see the indicator is uh, now working correctly, as you can see. Yeah, uh, due to my position, I'm not getting the picture well, but you can see it. You can see, you see here, you can see it. You see, yeah. So, uh, now let's check the voltages and see if it is reading. Let the now 1.10 is now present here. Look at it. You see, and look at it. You see, the 1.1 1 .1 1 volt is now present. So, this is how to solve a problem of a Tiger T50 Tiki Taka decoder and the, and the decoder uh, in like manner, like this. You have to check the pins and know uh, uh, to see whether you are getting the voltages. Of uh, all the cars and the all the ICs, everything is working very well. As you can see now, it is reading. It is reading. You see, with the with, the, with my camera, you can see it's blinking, but without the camera, it is not blinking. Uh, so this is a camera issue. <laughs> that one. The matter is now it is working. Now everything is correct. So welcome to First Man Satellite. Please subscribe and share my channel for more information. This is Tiger T50. This is Tiger T50 Tiki Taka Decoder. Thank you for watching.